Hi everyone, thank you very much for coming to watch this video. It's Diane Hall, author, medium channel, angel intuitive and singer-songwriter and thank you very much for coming to watch this video. Um, this is the message for the week of May the uh, 23rd, 2016. And um, I just want to say before I start the messages, um, again, thank you very much for all your love, all your support. And um, I just want to remind you that this is a general reading. Hopefully it will resonate with you. And if it doesn't, you can book a reading with me, a private personal reading with me, um, a Skype reading or a telephone reading. Just go to the link below the video and click and go to my website and have a look on the readings page and you'll see all the services that I offer there. So um, I'm going to start with a message from the little book of daily guidance. And the message that I've been given is 122. And the message is surrender the struggle. And it says, are you struggling with a minor aspect of your existence when there is no need for you to struggle at all? What is it that you most need to see about your own power to change things? Sometimes when you are feeling sensitised to your environment, one small issue can suddenly have you believing that you are smaller than you are. Sometimes it's easy to get stuck in a mindset of limitation and struggle. But in the end, we can only ever struggle with ourselves. Expand your mind today so that you can see the bigger picture. Give up the fight and allow your expanded self to solve the problem. So, I love that last sentence. I think that last sentence is what this message is all about. Give up the fight and allow your expanded self to solve the problem. So what that means is, when we try to think things through with our minds, Sometimes, even in the most complex situations, no amount of thinking and logic and strategizing and practicality will actually give us the answer. Sometimes what we need to do is to go beyond that into a greater consciousness and to connect with the infinite and to allow wiser guidance and inspiration to come through that will help us in ways that we couldn't have imagined or, or foreseen or envisioned before we decided to make that connection. So, you know, there is a big difference between trying to think things through and receiving inspiration. And I know I experience this time and time again. I experience it in doing readings, I experience it when I'm teaching, and I experience it in my writing, I experience it in my composing of music, that if I attempt to do something on my own, it can be okay, it can be good. <laughs> When I connect with inspiration, I ask my guides to work with me, work through me, it just becomes, it just goes to a whole other level. It becomes more easy, it flows, it's more inspired, it's more inspirational for others. They suggest things that I wouldn't have imagined. They teach me things constantly and all of this is, is possible for you, this, you have access to all of this even if you do not yet have you know, a perception of the personification of your individual guides or teachers or angels, you can still receive divine inspiration if you just allow yourself to get quiet and ask for that expanded view of things. So sometimes when you're feeling sensitized to your environment, one small issue can suddenly have you believing that you are smaller than you are. So in other words, don't sweat the small stuff, Ask for help with it. Ask to expand your mind out across all time and space and ask for the inspiration to come to you in a way that shows you that not only are you greater and more expanded than you thought you were, but your problem is a lot smaller than you are. Your problem is tiny compared to divine consciousness and divine consciousness runs through you. So what, what can you not do? So that's the message for this week. It's to surrender the struggle, stop trying to work out every tiny detail with your mind and ask for inspiration. And I'm being drawn to the fairies. Okay, so we've got Healing with the Fairies Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue. And I'm gonna just shuffle and I'm gonna ask for the inspiration to come from the fairies about 
how we can release the struggle and they're saying they guided me towards that deck because the fairies are very playful, <laughs> they're very much in the moment and they're very, very, very much connected. Okay, so raising your standards. Wow, that felt very, very powerful when I pulled that one. And the reason that that's important is because when we focus on tiny little problems, <laughs> this is so perfect. And it's because we see ourselves as very, very small and very tiny and we allow ourselves to engage with things on that tiny level. It's because we've forgotten. We've forgotten how amazing we are, how magnificent we are in, you know, made in the image of our beautiful creator and guided by our creator constantly. We've forgotten about the blessings of creator, all the blessings that come from creator that can help us to solve those tiny problems. They are nothing in the eyes of the infinite, in the eyes of the divine. So we need to raise our standards in terms of how we see ourselves. Raise our standards, raise our expectations of the universe to support us. Raise our expectations of what's possible for us in our lives and not in a way that's haughty or arrogant or grabbing or grasping or oh you know why shouldn't I have this in a way that simply accepts and embraces the magnificence of the creator that created you and its infinite ability to create all things and make all things manifest in the name of love raise your standards, raise your standards and set your sights on love which is infinite and which can do the impossible. So that's going to be a very exciting week right there and I'm going to ch choose a card from the um, Angels and Gods deck by Tony Carmine and Salerno and uh, I don't know why, <laughs> I just felt I needed to shuffle and pick a card from this deck as well. Just one card that will remind us throughout the week. So let's say that this is towards the middle and the end of the week. So this is the message that's going to help us to stay reminded, to stay on that path of surrendering the struggle and raising our standards to expect that we will be given the help and assistance that we need. So what else do we need to know that will help us internally to raise our standards? Angel of Emergence. It's time for the real you to emerge. It's that simple. The real you is infinite and expanded and does not sweat the small stuff, does not believe in the illusion of these tiny little problems. The real you says, Creator, guide me, recreate me, recreate my life. I'm ready. I'm here. Show me. I'm ready to emerge. And in that emergence, I am ready to see myself as the infinite reflection of you, of your grace, goodness, beauty, and infinite creation potential. In fact, infinite creation. It's not potential anymore. It's time to step out. It's time to emerge now fully. And this small stuff, these little worries, these little, these little niggly things, they are nothing for an emerging co-creator with God. Nothing. Okay, so what do we need to shift in our energy field and how do we need to shift and what's the healing that we can, come, we can call upon to really help us to finally get that message of not struggling with ourselves anymore because that's what it really is. Not struggling with the small stuff and allowing ourselves to emerge fully. Build your confidence. Okay. So, sometimes in order to emerge into the direction that we're going, we have to just practice things, try things out that we don't necessarily want to do and allow the doing to build our confidence for us. So, step away from worrying about how you're going to... So, what it could be, for example, is... If you're worrying about, um, you know, what am I going to do about my day job? I know I'm here as a wonderful co-creator with God and a divine messenger and a teacher and I have all these wonderful gifts that I've been given and I want to share them with the world and how am I going to get past this, you know, how am I going to actually, how does that look? How am I going to create that? If you're not doing anything 
in alignment with the goal that you want. So for example, if you're a painter or a musician or you're a messenger, a teacher, an intuitive and you're not doing intuitive readings and you're not showing your paintings or your music to the world, then you're not, nothing's ever going to change, is it? So take a step this week and show something to someone and get a response and allow the doing of it to build your confidence. They're not saying just suddenly get confident, but sometimes you have to take a risk in order to know that you're able to take a risk. So take a risk and let the risk taking build your risk taking muscle, which is another way of saying build your confidence. Going with faith, breaking that word down, going with faith that it's going to be okay. Okay, that's it for this week, everyone. Have a fantastic week. Not sweating the small stuff, but taking the small steps into your emergence. And um, I'll be back next week. If you'd like to book a, a reading with me or a mentoring session or a healing with me um, and release some of those blocks or just, just step forward more strongly, please click on one of the links below the video and um, find out a little bit more about what I offer. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for everything. And I'll speak to you again next week. Take care. Bye.